Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, my dear students, speaking to you is your teacher Mahmoud Makram, dear King Abdulaziz High School students, students of grade 11, today we are doing a phonetics lesson. Like previously in my last video, we talked about homophones, but they were at the end of the video and some students complained that they don't have a full understanding of what homophones are. That's why I made a separate video for homophones alone. Today we're talking about homophones alone. So, homophones. What are homophones? As I told you in the last video, homophones are words in English, pairs of words, or are two words that have this two or more than three words, or, or more than two words, like three words, that have the same pronunciation, but they have different spelling. So, they are words that you say in the same way, but when you write them, you write them differently. So, homophones are words that sound the same but have different meanings. It's important that you learn the difference between each word so you can use it properly. Some words can sound the same but are often spelled differently. Now, I, pre I prepared lots of examples for you to like make or to form a complete and full understanding of what homophones are. Let's start with these examples of homophones. Here you have the word ate. He, he ate all the food. So the past from eat is eight, and this is number eight. So you say eight, eight. Like the same, the same pronunciation, but different meanings, of course. Okay, one more example. Examples of homophones: break and break. Actually, he's driving so fast, and then he he held the brakes. He held the brakes, so he makes the car stop. And then you can break it. You can break it. Take care. You're going to break the, the plate or the dish. So break and break. Let's go to I and I. I have an I that I see with, and I am a person. So I and I, examples of homophones. Then flower and flower. Like we use flower to make cakes. This is flower, F-L-O-U-R. And then F L O W E R. This is a flower that smells, that has a nice smell. And then you have C, C that's full of water, and you see with your eyes. So, or I can see so and so. So, or there is a ship in the sea. So, how can you differentiate them? The context plays an essential role. Then. Rose and rose. Here now you can see rows of plants. Rows. But a rose has a very nice smell. So you have rose and you have a rose. Then here you have, I like, made a list of like famous and commonly used homophones. And we start with the whale. What's a whale? A whale is a large sea animal. You know it, of course. It's so big, enormous sea animal. And then this baby will whale if you don't give him some money, for example. So to wail means to cry loudly so people around you can hear you. This is whale. Stop wailing. You're a man now. So a whale is an animal and whale. So I heard the baby whale and I can see a whale in the sea. Whales are big. Don't wail, different spelling, different meaning, but the same pronunciation. Then I bought a very nice pair of shoes. Pair. In British English you say per, but in American English you say pair. So pair, and then, come on, I like this fruit. It's called pear as well. So pear and pear. Again, same here you have the same pronunciation, different spelling, different meaning. Then you have hair. This, go, this girl, as you can see in the photo, has blonde hair, but the hair is an animal. So then you have, so hair and hair, then eight, number eight, and this boy ate the watermelon, that piece of watermelon. Then a whale is a mammal, a whale. These are examples, but the boy did not wail. Then you have hi. He said hi, and this building is hi. Then I know the correct answer. 
No left turns are allowed on this street. Here and here again. Then, dear Tommy, my dear Tommy, with E A here, and then you have this animal, which is the deer as well. So you say deer and deer. Deer for this animal and someone you love, you call him deer. Or you use a respectful way of addressing someone. Then you ate a pear and you have a pair of skates. So pear again and pear. Of course, when it comes to deer and deer, you have another very common example, which is meat that you eat and you have meat i will meet my friend at the cafe so i will meet my friend at the cafe this is a very common example then here more than two words can make a homophone so here you have by which means next to i live by the pool then you have bye see you later bye then you have buying the meaning of purchase so i will buy a new car so it differs then you go to your student books again in lesson one unit seven lesson one unit seven at the end of lesson one you will find that part about homophones so homophones are like what i have just said are words with the same pronunciation they are words with the same pronunciation but different meanings and spelling and here we have a couple of sentences no horses and i know so no and no then then let's go to a couple of words pair and pairs and pair which is a pair of shoes and i ate the pair kind of fruit then stair you climb the stairs to go up and then stare stop staring at me like that don't stare at me why are you looking at me in such like a freaky way stop then you have mail i received a message by mail that mail from email and i teach actually i teach males not females then peace alhamdulillah here in saudi arabia you live in peace you live in peace you don't have wars here but i'm hungry can you please give me a piece of that pie you are eating give me a piece and you live in peace then heal the wound that you that i had is starting to heal to heal means to get better then heal heal is a part of your of your foot then sail he is a sailor who can sail the boat he can sail the boat and come on there is a sail at center point let's go and buy some new clothes so uh, as you can see you have a lot of words that are homophones and you can make your own list can you think of some more homophones thanks for listening it was an honor actually bye stay at home stay safe